Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. This is Elise here of Plan with Elise, and today we are planning in a big happy planner, not my big happy planner, but this is a custom spread for my Patreon member, Courtney. And Courtney requested a big vertical spread using stickers from Book Babe from Live Love Posh. This is one of my favorite current newer sticker books. Of course, code Elise 10 will give you a discount on your order. And the stickers we're going to be using today are these. And these are just so darn pretty. And I'm really excited to use them for Courtney this week. So we're going to start by covering up some white here. Now, Courtney's planning style is quite similar to mine. So this is easy in a way because, um, I mean, we'll see if it's easy. I'm probably going to jinx myself, but in a way it's easy because I'm just sort of decorating this as though it were my own to kind of set it up for her. Not kind of set it up, I guess, just to set it up. So I wanted to put this down because I wanted to use this top sticker, but I was trying to sort of gauge the sizing with my eyes and we'll see if that worked or not. I thought that this washi, which is like one of my favorites that I'm kind of returning to, I feel like it's an old favorite washi, but I thought it would be really fun here to do a little bit of like layering with it. So we're gonna put this right here, but I want to lift this up because where this final leaf is going, I don't want to be able to see the polka dot through it. This is one of those like very particular details. But I feel like if it's kind of falling over it, you shouldn't be able to see the polka dot underneath, right? There's still a little bit because I didn't let this dry enough. So now we have to give it a sec to let it dry. So I'll let that sit there for a moment. And while I do that, I wanted to look at some of these quotes. So I like read, dream, repeat. I don't think I've used any of these reading quotes yet. So we're going to, but this still doesn't look dry. Ah, don't do it. Okay. I'm trying to like keep this up here. Usually the pen is enough to kind of weight it, weight it. And then in the meantime, while that's going, I pulled out these, I think this will work. I pulled out some stickers from Planner Kate because I thought that these weekday headers would be fun since they're a good combination. I did spend quite a bit of time today color matching. Um, I even had an avalanche in my, <laughs> in my closet. I was, I, in my closet, I have a bookshelf and I have four large sticker storage containers with all of the big size sticker books from like Live Love Posh, Kello Plant, etc. And I was pulling out one of the boxes to see if I could find a specific sticker book. And the whole thing, not the whole bookshelf, but the whole shelf itself toppled over. So four boxes fell down and all the sticker books poured out and I've got a mess to clean up. But that's, that's later Elise's problem. That's not this moment Elise's problem. This is still looking wet, so I want to kind of leave it there. Okay, let's go back to this quote I wanted to use while that is drying. And we're going to take read, dream, repeat. Or escape reality, read a book. I like that. It's also a little bit better sized for this space. But I just really lately seem to be struggling getting these stickers off the page. So before I put that down, let's look back. Oh, you know what else I grabbed? but I forgot to put it on my desk unless I didn't forget. No, I didn't forget. So when I had sticker book avalanche of the day, I saw weekly florals by Kello Plan and I was like, oh, these florals match really nicely. Now there aren't a ton of them. There's only one page here, but I thought that this might be pretty, like some little accents of these florals on this spread because the colors work. So sometimes I tend to stick with like 
one sticker book because it's what I grab and I have enough stickers for it. But if you look at some of your other sticker books, you may see some similar color combinations. Now, putting that to the side, like I said, Courtney uses her big planner the same way I do. So it'll be the same type of checklists and everything that she needs. So we're going to take my checklist stencil and add some lines here. And we'll go down here too. I don't know that I necessarily intended for this whole thing to be decorative, but in that case, I'm going to cover up this line because I feel like it doesn't really need to be there. I don't mind having the washi over just a certain part, but I definitely don't need that whole line there. I wasn't quite thinking ahead when I did that. Okay, so now these are just going to alternate, which makes it really easy. Oops, I haven't done that in a while. I used to do that all the time. I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll use some white pen to go over it. So what I was trying to find was jewel tone boxes, which I did not find, but I did find monthly jewel tone boxes because I was thinking that this color, although now that I'm looking at it, it might not work. I was trying to find a good match for the teal and purple to use as header boxes. And I'm just not entirely sure in any of my sticker books or individual stickers, I was able to find a great combination. What I did find were two mild liners that seemed to have the right colors. So what I would like to do is to create header, boxes using a stencil. So if you don't have the right color of something, but you do have a stencil for it, then I guess that's always a good like plan B option. I think we're gonna use the purple. And that's kind of how I feel about all the colors I pulled out or all of the boxes for this. So I really couldn't find matching boxes in anything. Um, although wait, I have pastel shapes by Mojo Jojo Plans. There were some there that actually might work. So I have that down. And then I was thinking to use this for kind of the bullet points, but now I want to double check this color because I feel like, oh no, this is a really good match to that. So let's do this. Wait, that's the wrong stencil. Too many stencils <laughs> in front of me and I still need to fix right there. So we're going to kind of put this back down where it originally was and just use these. There's probably going to be a little bit of bleed through, but I'm not concerned when with bleed through when I'm doing spreads for patrons because they're just gonna pop this into their planner and it doesn't matter, see, what's on the back because these are like just extra sheets. It's not like when Courtney gets this, she's going to be using the back of the page. So it's not a concern. I'm a little bit more free with the darker colors when doing these. I have to pop that one out. All right, let's go back and cover this. And then I need to give that one a second to dry. So the other thing I'm wondering is, do I add this black outline to these header boxes like would it look better to do that so then it really is just like the purple is kind of a shadow I guess we'll try it because you never know yes that's definitely the right look it makes it pop more so I kind of unintentionally well if you watched my latest big plan with me, I use stencils. And so today when I was looking for stickers to use here, I was like, you know what? I can't find them, but I can find markers. So we'll just do stencils. And then I was thinking, well, my latest video also has stencils. So that's where I sometimes struggle a little bit as a creator of like, do I do the different things? and make sure that I'm not using stencils two weeks in a row, but 
Also, I use stickers all the time, so who says I can't put in a stencil every once in a while? All right, now we're going to make some more boxes. And I think that because I'm just incapable of drawing a straight line, doubling it up with the stencils here is a fun look. And we'll do the same thing right over here, but with the other color. I'm wondering if I want to add some washi. No, I think we're, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if I'd have room. What if we go halvesies with the washi? Make it a little bit thinner. We could put it like right in the middle there. Maybe a little bit less in the middle. I think that what's so much fun about experimenting with washi is because rolls are so big, I never really feel like I'm wasting it if I don't like something and I decide to switch things around. I just have to remember <laughs> to use it, which doesn't always happen, but I'm doing better. Definitely doing better. Okay, ah, look how cute that is. All right, that makes me excited. Now, this is where I have to decide, do we continue with double boxes through the whole thing? Or let's look at pastel shapes, because I mentioned that this had some good matches. Some good matches. Like, the purple is not great. <laughs> But if I'm looking at these two, I feel like the hexagon is kind of a combination between, whoops, this purple is sort of a combination between those two. I could go, this is definitely not the right purple. This teal is probably better because it's kind of like that exact color, but I need to make sure I have two of them. I do have two. Okay, so in that case, I know this is a big sticker, but I think that putting it right here will be good because it's not too much over each of those. Hopefully it's not something that bugs her. All right, we did that dried, so now it's time to go back here. There's so much multitasking happening today. Let's go back to these and add in our bullet points. And I also tried placing that so that it wouldn't be over any individual bullet point. Now I want to do the same style boxes that I did over here. So this is an Archer and Olive stencil. I really like it. I've been using it much more often lately. It's really nice and like heavy duty. And uh, with Archer and Olive, code at least 10 will give you a discount. So I'll link the stencil below. I do try to always link whatever I'm using. Um, so if you, if I don't mention I'll link it below and you look and you don't see it, just um, leave a comment and then I can always grab it for you. But I'm trying to be better about it. It does take some time, but <laughs> I think what often happens is, so I know that some creators will film like a lot of videos and then they'll do the editing for all the videos and put them up. And I really try to do one at a time, like film, edit, upload. But some of that is also just a result of my life, you know, working full time. This is so cute. And so I try to like, before I schedule it, make sure that all links are added and everything like that. All right. I was kind of rambling about that. Now I want to bring in, let me think for a second. So I want to make sure that we have some symmetry here, but it's not too symmetrical. So I'd like to do, think for a pencil. I'd like to do checklists here, boxes here, and then more of the planting going on. Checklist, box. However, if I do that, I would just need to find the right spot to put the hexagon. I think we can do it. So what did I say? Checklists up top, right? Unless the hexagon will just go here. Yeah, that would make sense, right? So get this not stuck. We're going to do a checklist. Actually, I'm going to leave this stencil here so I can do the bullet points. And this will work. So I've mentioned this recently 
in a video or maybe I've mentioned it. I'm saying maybe because I know I've said it. I just don't know if you've seen that video yet. Um, that lately I've been trying to listen to music more and just have more sound surrounding me because I'm someone who works in silence. I clean in silence. I just really don't have many sounds playing in my day-to-day -day life. But what I think happens is that that tends, this is gonna go over too much, isn't it? All right, I think we have to be okay with um, losing a little bit of this for the punch. I think that when I'm out in, in the wild, out in public, the sensitivity I have to noise and outside sounds, sometimes it's like jolting. So I'm trying to listen to music more so that I hear more sounds on a regular basis. But what's happening is now when I sit, oh, that barely even, what happened there? I don't know that that worked. When I sit down to film a video, if there's one moment of the video that I'm not speaking, it feels like crazy silence. So I guess now that I'm around noise more, the silence could be uh, deafening, which is something for me to be mindful of mental health wise. All right, back to, oh, and we also had florals that I haven't included again yet. So back to the original stickers we were using. I'd like to put some down here. So I know that we need to cover this up. I also want to make sure that we have more plants and not just books. So we're putting that down. I need the washi again. So I'll rip off the edge and put this washi here. This is pretty. I like these colors. It's making me happy to look at and hopefully Courtney will feel the same way. I think she always does with my spreads. Okay, pull this up. This will be a nice fit right here. Just trying to have this sit right on top of the washi. It's a really good space there. But I also want a hanging one somewhere. So I was thinking, do we take this and have this hanging from the top? Will this fit right here? It might be like just the right fit. So let's try this. I don't know why I'm nervous about it, but I'm feeling nervous about putting this down. And then I need a thin pen. So I'm gonna take a point two. I feel like I need a thinner pen than that. Oh, a zero one. Point one. This is a Unipin fine line. And I'm going to just draw a thin line there to have that kind of hanging from the top. All right, now we need, I may as well pop this out. I don't know why I'm delaying it. If you're new to these stencils from Happy Planner, they um, come with, well, there actually is still the plastic on the back here or a little piece of the plastic and you have to kind of pop these out. So that's what happened earlier. Oh, we still have to do the headers. There's a lot to be done here. This isn't, we're not finished yet. Um, also, just a note, normally you'll notice my custom spread videos tend to have two people in one video. I forgot to leave this down. The reason this one does not is because one of the spreads I'm doing that's a custom one this month is actually one that I've sort of already done. So you may have seen the dashboard go wild prep page that I made for Bobby last week. Um, one of my patrons has requested the same style, like whoops, for go wild, but also the dashboard. And I said, I'm happy to do it. It's just not going to go up on YouTube because I've already done like that exact same thing. So I don't know that I needed two same videos planning for the same conference using the same stickers and the same layout um up here so that's why this is getting its own video i'm missing a stencil there it is it's not missing it's just underneath okay so now i need my purple and we need this here i always say this and i still agree I, I would need, I want, I'm gonna be intentional about my choice of words here. 
I want to try and be more intentional about giving the same thought and energy to all of my spreads as I do to these custom ones. That kind of splattered a bit. I feel that I give what I can to my spreads um, because I only have a certain amount of time in my day being a creator who does have a full-time job. Sometimes my videos are not, we're going to switch things up here. Um, sometimes the spreads are like, I have 20 minutes to get this done. So we're going to do something that'll take 20 minutes. But when I'm doing these spreads for Patreon, I do give it a bit more attention than that. And I wish I had the time to do it for myself, but it just doesn't always happen. So I always want to keep these. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I love it, but I will not keep it. I will send it out in the mail <laughs> to go to Courtney. We're going to put this here right in the middle and then go back to this stencil. Stencils are also a really great economical option. This stencil is pricey. Are you still filming this? Yes. This stencil is a bit expensive. Again, code Elise 10 will give you a discount on it, but it's worth it because it's really sturdy and stencils are endless, right? A sticker book, not that I don't love sticker books, but a sticker book is once you use that sticker, you can't ever use that sticker again unless you used it on like a um, uh, page that you laminated. I was, I was thinking whiteboard, but a page that you laminated stencil you can use forever so that's why to me even though this was a little bit more expensive it was worth it I did purchase it it wasn't sent to me because I feel like I'm seeing myself start to use them a lot more and again good budget friendly option also storage it takes up less room than a sticker book I need to clean that off I just have to figure out how. So it looks like this splattered a little bit due to fraying maybe. So I'm gonna go a little bit lighter here. See if that fixed the issue. A little bit, but not really. I mean, this is clean. What I could do, whoa! I don't know if that was on camera or not, but this just flew up. But everyone else is, I feel like, I don't watch a ton of plan with me's anymore, but just do things fly around on everyone else's videos. I know others have like dogs or pets or things like that. But I feel like sometimes there's just things flying here. So the one thing I'm feeling like is that, well, I can't cause I already cut that. I don't think I'm going to have another hexagon. I should have alternated colors with this cause I don't know that I'll have another of that. We'll have one that's not lined. Oh, but that would make me crazy. Having this like that and then this one that's not lined. So I think we probably need to pull this one up. And maybe I can, whoops, maybe I can sticker surgery. I did not mean to push or all that out. I think we can do some sticker surgery. I try to avoid using undo, but I don't think it was avoidable this time. And you can see it's not smudging anything else. Even the white that's there is fine. So we'll kind of let that dry a little bit. A little bit. That hexagon sticker just fell. This we're going to put about here. Grab the one that fell. And I was going to do sticker surgery, which I can still do. Um, let's first put this down and I see got like this other shape here. This is going to be very precise sticker surgery. <laughs> Might be a little bit ridiculous, but we're going to do it. I'm cutting off this tiny little shape here. I feel like Courtney's spreads always get sticker surgery. Her spread was the murky and bright one from December, if you saw that. Look at that. You would never know. Very proud of myself. Sometimes I feel like this is a game of operation. 
Let's get this punched, repunched. Okay, this one's a little bit crooked. I think it's fine. Um, over here, I want a reading quote. So we're going to do, I want something tall. So the options are either read, dream, repeat, or I can stack, or I also grabbed Kell of a Plan Reading Basics because I thought maybe, I was going to say, I knew there were reading quotes here. Maybe this would have one, but I feel like these are a little bit smaller. So yeah, I think those are too small for what I want to do here. Um, we're going to take read, dream, repeat right here. I feel like it needs something else. Oh, Cal of a Plan Weekly Florals. See, this is where I forget. This is sometimes why I don't pull out so many sticker books because I literally just forget to use them. So this time we'll put this right over here. I think that's pretty. And then read, dream, repeat. <gasps> I love it. Okay, we are getting closer. So up next, I need a checklist. Okay, this sticker book is finished. This sticker book I'm not using anymore. It's like time to start moving the things aside that are getting in the way. This one's going to be shifted a little bit. Let's see, we'll put that there. Make sure we're straight. Bring this across. And then this one. This is that moment that it feels like it's all coming together and it makes me excited. All right, we have that down. We need a heading box. So we want this one, although mm, I'm gonna have a little bit of trouble there. Actually, I totally planned on using these Planner Kate stickers. That'll solve my problem. So we're gonna do that, but I might have a little bit of trouble here. I also think I didn't center this properly. But I don't think it's a big deal to have this kind of cut off because of that. So I wanted to take these Today stickers and put them in each of the boxes that I made. The reason I'm using these, well, first of all, I like these, but also Planner Kate stickers are typically really removable. So if Courtney didn't want this, she could just take them off. If I had put other heading stickers, they probably wouldn't come off as easily because they're not that removable, but these are. Okay, finally, for this last box, we are going to recreate the stacking stencil or stacking boxes. So I need this purple one. Actually, because that one was done different. No, I'm going to do it this way. Let's go up a little bit and do that. So I'm not really someone who writes in color in my planner, but I'm someone who has a lot of <laughs> colored pens and highlighters. If you are that kind of person too, where you can't stop yourself from buying them, but you don't write in them, this <laughs> write with them. This stenciling is a great idea because you can make whatever color boxes you need. You have the excuse to buy all of the colored pencils and markers, but you found a way to use them. Okay, so I think these are set. Now, what I was going to just do for the sidebar, because I really like to let my patrons still have some um, control over their, their spreads, is just go simple with this week's sticker and let Courtney decide exactly what she wants to do here. I might also actually even um, reach out to her and say, you know, what, what do you want on the sidebar? Because I know that sometimes I've put habit trackers. I don't think she does the habit tracking as much. But if she doesn't really have a need, like what I would do if this, well, if it were my spread, I probably would use the habit tracker. But I can also just take one of these floral stickers just to help cover up some of the space and put this right here and then let this be open. So I think we're set. I really like how this came out. It's super functional. It's plenty decorative. 
and the colors are perfect for spring. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll link everything I used in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.